Yeah, aircraft's getting light, so I got to kind of fill the movements. Is the nose going left, right? I'll get everything neutralized. Now that it feels good, now I'm going to gently lift up. So the topic of today, two-step process to avoid dynamic rollover. And I'm going to talk about it more in the video. We're going to go back to the helicopter. And my daughter's always talking about how I talk to myself and how weird she thinks that is. But of course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. I don't really feel like an expert. I just feel like a guy who's been down in the trenches and beat up and knocked down and struggled to get to where I'm at today. Like many of you out there. This is something you really need to think about whether you're brand new or you've been flying for 20 years. So let's go back to the helicopter. Have you ever heard of the two-stage pickup? Maybe you're brand new and you have it. Or maybe you're an experienced pilot that needs to refresh this. I gotta refresh it all the time, right? We stay proficient by working with the basics, the things we learned early on, right? And I learned early on from an awesome instructor who one day kind of spanked me a little bit and he's like, you got to learn a good two-step process. Experienced pilots roll these helicopters over from doing a sloppy pickup. And you got to understand, step one, get the aircraft line, the skids, pause, neutralize. Step two, gently lift the aircraft up in the air. And he was really stern and I'm glad he was, right? Because he taught me good technique that I've used all these years. And it works really well. Just a refresher for those that already know. If you're brand new, I'm going to start raising collective. You're going to hear a horn here in a minute, but it'll go off. Maybe. Okay. Horn's off. So now what I want to do is I'll be looking outside 50, 75 feet. I can glance back into RPM. Look back outside. Back into RPM. Don't worry. A little bit of an instrument shake there. No big deal. Okay. Aircraft's getting light, so i got to kind of fill the movements. Is the nose going left, right? I'll get everything neutralized. Now that it feels good, now I'm going to gently lift up. Two-step process. And people rush the pickup a lot of times on an instrument when they bounce like that because they don't like the bounce. And even though the bounce kind of sucks, I say don't rush the pickup. Rushing a pickup can cause you dynamic rollover. Let's go over here in the grass. We'll try another one. And we'll just see, in the grass, we may not get that bounce. And it's, it's not ground resonance. This is just the Instrum bounce. Instrum is a really super smooth flying machine. It just likes to dance a little bit when you're picking it up and setting it down sometimes. We may not find that here. So I'm going to take my time setting it down. I, it's got some snow. The ground's probably still frozen. I think we're good. Still take my time being careful. A little bit of forward movement so I don't roll it over sideways. Let's try it again. Man, it's getting hot in here. Let's turn that heat down. All right, so here we go for a refresher. Two-step process. Step number one is get the aircraft lie on the skids, pause, neutralize all movements. And then when you're ready, step number two, gently lift it up off the ground. So I rushed the last one a little bit, I felt like. So I'm just grazing power, looking outside. Last back of my RPM. I think it's going to go a little bit high, so I'm going to adjust a little bit of throttle back. Yeah, even on the grass, here it comes. It's all right, no big deal. So I gotta look outside, glass my RPM, look outside. I'm still raising collective. Now this is a different feel because I'm in grass. I'm not gonna move left and right as easy, so I gotta be a little more careful. Okay, there we go. Now the nose is moving. So now I'm gonna make the pedal changes so the nose stops. Just a cyclic where I feel like it's gonna come up fairly straight. Step number two, gently lift up. There we go. Add a hair forward movement, that's okay. There you go. A two-step process. You should be using that as a brand new, brand new student. You should be using that as a 20-year pilot. Experienced pilots roll these things over from not using a good two-step process. And I'm making fun of him, but he was awesome. And I was very, very lucky that he taught me that. All right, been a long day. Time to head for the house. Morning caution lights are out. Gage is in the green. We got fuel timers running. Here we go. All right, cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Got a big announcement to make. March 1st, coming up just in a week or so. It'll be seven years online. So the party starts March 1st and goes to my birthday, March 15th. We should have the biggest, longest running cell from March 1st to 
March 15th on my birthday. So March 1st is the birthday, Helicopter Land Ground School, seven years online. I was told I couldn't do it. Seven years later, here we are. And then my birthday, March 15th. So 15 days of discounts, videos. I don't know, I think we should probably throw some giveaways in there. Make sure you uh, give us a comment so you can support Coffee with Kenny and keep this going. I love doing it, I'm having a blast. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you do to make sure you get notified. Make sure you give us a like and make sure you keep commenting down below. You people have been awesome. The amount of comments people make and the things that people talk about and the things they say, absolutely 100% incredible. So thank you everybody. Subscribe, click that bell and we'll see you tomorrow in the next video.